pain, pain, pain. They are sick, sometimes for years, but their doctors don't believe them. There's no medicine for someone like you. You're an attractive girl, and obviously, you don't feel like you're getting enough attention. That's what one doctor told Mandy Hughes after she suffered for 10 years from undiagnosed Lyme disease, a debilitating illness that is often missed by the medical community. It is a, a big epidemic and people have no idea. It's commonly misdiagnosed and it's commonly um, not diagnosed at all. Mandy was bitten by a tick at the age of 19, but it took nearly a dozen years and dozens of doctors before her disease was finally discovered. And then it was difficult for her to get proper treatment, more than a year of antibiotics. Mandy's story and many others are featured in this new documentary on Lyme disease. I was really confused when the doctors told me there was nothing wrong with me and I was just making it all up. I've been told by the best doctors that I have Parkinson's. After doctor after doctor misdiagnosing or putting her on some medication that didn't work or just thought we were both nuts. It's called Under Our Skin and it's trying to get under the skin of ignorant doctors. Doctors are failing to diagnose patients and failing to treat them because they don't even know that this is as big of an epidemic that it is. Andy Abraham Wilson is the film's director and he says there are now more new cases of Lyme disease each year in the U.S. than AIDS. He recently showed his blockbuster film to members of Congress who are now considering examining whether medical guidelines for Lyme disease need to be expanded. They are also looking into whether insurance companies have tried to limit treatment options for Lyme disease sufferers. Chronic Lyme disease is not something that can be cured with a magic bullet. It requires long-term treatment and insurance companies don't want to pay for that long-term treatment. Wilson also points the finger at the Center for Disease Control, who he says has failed to track the spread of Lyme disease. He says new government guidelines on treatment are also needed immediately in order to help those who are currently suffering. That's it from here. Back to you.